Time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning, an ABC News exclusive. Celine Dion has opened up about to our own Deborah Roberts in her first TV interview since the death of her husband in January about the final moments that she shared with him. I started to talk to him and I said, you know what? I want you to just let go in peace. I want you to not worry. You were worrying for my career. You were worrying for the children. You were worrying for everything. It's enough. I promise you, we're going to be okay. So Renee Angeli was Dion's husband, father of their three sons, and her manager for so many years. You can see more of that interview later this morning on Good Morning America. And really was a tough moment for her yeah. and he had been battling cancer for so many years so it was almost as if she was prepared for that moment and such a big part of her life both obviously yeah. personally but also mm -hmm. professionally that yes. relationship so a lot to part with there and yeah. it was a very moving interview yep all right next let's move to tom hanks who's now opening up about his diabetes and actually blaming himself yeah the actor revealed two years ago that he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and now He's admitting that it was his diet that did him in, calling himself part of the lazy American generation and telling the Radio Times, quote, I was heavy. You've seen me in the movies. I was a total idiot. Hanks went on to say that he is hopeful, however, that if he hits a certain target weight, he'll be able to reverse the disease altogether. He says that's what his doctors told him. Okay, so an interesting side note here. Hanks says it could have been worse. He says what helped keep him away from booze and drugs was becoming a father at the age of 21 and being forced to grow up fast. That's right. He said he did it. He did his fair share of certain things, but he didn't make it a habit. Yeah. And he's grateful for that. He says, you know, I, I may have at the time thought I was missing out, but I was actually able to be aware of what was going on in the world and see my kids grow up. And so, and now he has yet another reason to thank them. I'd never heard that you, if you lose, if you lose weight, then you can kind of reverse the. Yeah, I didn't know that it worked in the opposite way. Yeah. Okay, so next in our Celebrity Health Watch, Sofia Vergara with a reminder for all women. Vergara's reminding fans that it's that time of year. The Modern Family star Instagrammed out this photo of herself getting an annual mammogram. Okay, so you may recall that Vergara is a cancer survivor. She was diagnosed with thyroid cancer 16 years ago. And she has said in past interviews that the diagnosis changed her life bringing her down to earth and forcing her to take better care of herself. She now takes a pill every day to manage her thyroid hormones. And finally, it's the end of an era for Tom Cruise. Yes, it is, or at least the end of a real estate era. In what seemed like a mission impossible, the actor has managed to offload his 10,000 square foot Beverly Hills mansion that he shared with his wife, Katie Holmes, at the time. For $45 million? That looks like more than a mansion. That looks like five mansions. That looks like Vatican City. <laughs> so after knocking $5 million off the price. Bargain. Yeah, he's now been able to sell it. Now the estate has seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a tennis court, a pool, a playground, and several guest houses. Well, I mean, you, in case you have many other guests. Yeah, I mean, there's no room for them in the house, so you need to have a guest house for them. <laughs> so, by the way, Tom and Katie bought the home for just over $30 million. That was back in 2007 when he was still jumping on Oprah's couch. So he's still walking away with a cool $15 million. The 53-year-old has been quietly selling off his properties lately. He recently sold his Hollywood Hills home for $11.4 million, his two-bedroom Manhattan apartment for $3 million, and he's listed his 33-acre Colorado retreat for $59 million. You're holding out for the Colorado retreat, I'm right? I'm hoping. What does he have left after all that? I'm guessing he has more property than that. Wow. It's Tom Cruise. Lots mean? of real estate to go around in the Cruise family. Clearly, those Mission Impossible movies were actually successful. <laughs> yeah.